Carolyn Ellie's Gibson. I live in Fort White, Florida. I drove here tonight to be with you regarding the Joseph Watt Fayette and Bob Bass and Wastewater Spills on the Swine River. I have some booklets I'd like to share with you. I have seven booklets. I will make sure that you have one more copy. I own an echo tourism business called but our livelihood is dependent on these waterways in Florida. These waterways provide us with $84 million of tourist dollars and also $45 million of residential money that uh, that provide us with all kinds of reasons that we enjoy the rivers of Florida. Your valid blast wastewater spills are impacting our way of life in Florida, and I thought I'd come here to tell you about that. What I'm providing with you today are three different books. One is an ethical book on um, water and ethics. Another book is on the Middle Swan River. The Upper, San or upper Swan River is not done, really but rest assured when that Upper Swan River gets done, this report, the Valdosta Wastewater Spills will be in it. The third report that you have is uh, uh, hopefully the restoration that comes with our water resources that we also share in Florida and in Georgia, but in particular Florida. I just wanted you to know and to impress upon you the, the importance of our waterways and what is happening with the wastewater treatment facilities. <coughs> I have been to um, the facility, I've been with your staff. We had a wonderful walkthrough. It's actually a really good experience, but the spills continued after that, and they, they were happening before that too. If I miss, or if I, my number serves me, a 6.5 million gallons of wastewater has been spilled into the Woods of and Lapaha River recently. It's just within the last few months. So something's got to give, something's got to be done. I don't know what it is, your facility is gorgeous. $34 million buys you a wonderful, shiny place with a lot of wastewater to go into, but apparently it's not big enough. Um, while I was there, possibly a wet wetland treatment center at the bottom of the, the, the long elaborate process, but at the last place, maybe, maybe you could look into a wetland treatment center versus discharging directly into these systems into the Wipakuchi at the um, residential one and into the Alapaha system at the industrial one. Um, also, your manhole covers, stop Control that, control that raw sewage that's spilling out into your streets, that's what we're hearing. I didn't actually see that on those particular uh, instances when you had a lot of rain, but um, <coughs> I'm sorry, that's all the time to do a lot, but thank you. We will get back with Ms. Gibson. Thank you. If I can refer to Ms. Gibson, if you would get with Gerald Hughes, our director Hughes, I would love to meet with you. Yes. Met with a lot of folks from Madison County, the county administrator. We've met with folks from the Middle of Florida Commission and kind of go through some of these, these facts and issues with you. We'd be happy to do that. Yeah, I, they had a meeting today that actually I, I, I did not come to when I actually came right. here, but they're having a, a, a task force meeting right now sure. on those people that you sure. So we'd, we'd be happy to, to sit down and have that same conversation with you or our group. And we'll go there to you or you can come to us. Well, I think you're going to be at the Water Management District in a few more weeks. Right. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll see you there. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank